Recruit 757 here at Lake Taylor High School where the Heritage Hurricanes have upset or shocked the Lake Taylor Titans 35 to 21. Coach, you knew coming in this was a big game. How do you feel? Um, I feel great right now. You know, I'm just excited for the whole school program. The guys working hard all doing something. I'm just I'm just excited, especially after what happened to us last year, them beating us 53 to zip. Um, it's an exciting win, exciting for the whole program. I'm sure it feels like a great way to start the season. Uh, excellent way to start the season. After starting off slow, um, and some of the scrimmages and not getting the things that we wanted to get done in the scrimmages coming in. We just knew that we had to execute on all cylinders, offense and defense, and that's what we did tonight. Now, we talked before the game about how the run was going to be real important for you guys. However, the passing game really broke it open. You had uh, several long plays. Tim Payne, Amanye Watson played a big part in it. Of course, Jeremiah Boyd, at quarterback. Let's talk a little bit about the passing game first. Um, I mean... We, I feel that we have probably some of the best wide receivers in the district um, with Tim, Tim Payne and Amanye Watson. Uh, Coach Fabian Davis did a great job with the wide receivers. He, he identified some things that we were capable of doing, and um, we wanted to run the ball, but Lake Taylor gave us things that we had to take advantage of. You know, they were playing press man, and we feel as though the two guys that we have uh, with Tim and Watson, you can't play press man. Um, you know, you can't do that against those guys. So if you're going to give us those things, we're going to take them. And Coach Davis identified some things and said, Coach, let's start taking some shots. And that's what happened. They ended up taking out one of their defensive backs, number 12. And we just wanted to keep on going, going deep or and running the slants. Amanye had a big score, or actually more a big catch that set up the big score in the third quarter. Tell me about that play, how it set up. We ran, I'm not even going to tell you the play we ran, but we got the matchup we wanted. Boy put the ball in the air and I just made a play on it. Yeah, because I know that speed obviously is a factor, yeah. and you guys were picking on the same corner a lot of the night. Yeah. Was So that was a planned play, kind of uh, if it was open, you were getting it. Of course. Tim, how's it feel to have this win? Uh, that feels great coming back from last year with that terrible loss. You know, it's just revenge, basically. Now, as great as the passing game was, it really set up the run game, and it was obvious in the third quarter when you came down, scored your fourth touchdown of the night, the long pass set up a short run. It took you three downs, but you were able to grind it and get it in the end zone. Oh, yeah, on that pass play, uh, Coach Davis said we need to single up Watson on the back side, you know, because basically they were playing, putting both their best corners on one side of the field. So he said, let's split them up, have Boyd look off one way and come back. And that's exactly what Boyd did. Looked to Tim and came right back to Watson and hit him in stride. And we stressed that all week, you know, that in order for us to make the big play, that Boyd's going to have to put the ball right there on the receiver. And he did a great job tonight. Offensive line did a great job with some protection. Coach Williams did a great job with them all week and then Coach Linwood. So I'm just I'm just happy and blessed right now, man. I'm just excited. Well, with a 14-point lead early on in the fourth quarter, you really had to play ball control. You had to keep the ball away from the Titans. You managed to do that with the run game. Yes, sir. Talk about how you were able to flip right around and run down the clock. I mean, that, that's our staple. Everybody knows that, you know, we want to run the ball. Um, offensive line said, Coach, let's just run the ball. We told Watt, I mean, boy. Now went to the uh, referee, puts his hand up in the back. You know, let's, let's grind the clock out. We're going to put his hand up and then it's snapping with five seconds left on the play clock. Um, ball control offense, that's what we want to do. You know, we knew if we keep the ball out of their hands, they can't score if they don't have it. So that was our goal. And I, I'm just, like I said, I'm happy and proud of my guys, man. They just did a great job. And 
I don't know what to say, man. I'm just, I'm just excited because nobody thought that we could do it. And I told the guys before the game, this is what we have right here. This group of guys that's been there all summer with each other. And Coach Williams brought them together and said, we're a family. You'll do anything for family, and those guys play for each other. Now, obviously, this is one game. It's the start of the season. What does this mean for the 2016 Heritage Hurricanes? Just like you said, it's just one game. Next week, we got war. You know, this game is over with. We'll tell our guys, enjoy the night. We'll be back in there watching film tomorrow, hitting the weights. Sunday, enjoy this game a little bit more and start getting focused on war. So that's the goal. But I'm glad that we got this one first. Uh, payback from last year. It's a, it's a big win. Air game is a big game. But I told my guys, you come out here and compete all four quarters, they was going to be happy with the outcome. And you're right. And I was right.